Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 8th of August 2018 and the time has just gone at 10.35 British Summer Time. This week's Chart of the Week is the S&P 500 and taking a look at the big picture, we can see that the S&P 500 has, has recouped pretty much most of the ground that it lost in the major sell-off at the beginning of the year in January and February. Uh, the market has been in a classic example of an upward trend in recent months. Uh, taking a look at the price action since April, we can see the market has been put, uh, creating a series of higher highs and higher lows over the last number of months. And in fact, yesterday the market went down to hit its highest level uh, since uh, late January, not too far away from the all time high. Um, also, if you take a look at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, we can see that as the market was moving higher in the last couple of sessions, uh, the, the momentum indicator swung from negative ever so slightly in the red to a positive territory now and it's actually increasing as well so as the market is pushing higher we're seeing a, a steady increase in positive momentum so the rate of change in a, is, is heading in direction of the uh, the bulls and, and the buyers so with this upward move you can be more confident that this upward move uh, is going to last just because the rate of momentum is, 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 in, is in favor of the bulls and the buyers so if you do push on higher from here, we, we could be looking uh, at retesting the January high and therefore the all-time high of 2,877. Uh, and then, of course, if, if we move beyond that, traders will be keeping, uh, keeping an eye off for numbers like uh, 2,880, 90, and then the big psychology report number 2,900. Obviously, this would be, uh, if, if you were to see this, this would obviously be uh, something in the kind of more medium to longer term, but in the near term, we could see the all time high of 2,877 being retested. Now, the market's been in, in an upper trend for the last number of months, uh, so we've seen uh, markets bounce back uh, after reaction low. So, if we do see the SP uh, drift lower, we could see new buyers enter the fold and look to the market to uh, continue the wider upper trend that it's been in. So, if we do drift, drift lower from, uh, from these levels, support may come into play in around this area here at 2,825. Or perhaps even down at the 2,800 level as a big psychological number, and then slightly below that we did see the uh, 2,791 area um, uh, act as support recently and also uh, resistance not too long ago. This line here, this line here at 2,791 seems to be fairly significant, uh, seeing as in, in, in early June it acted as uh, resistance. And then in July and also in, in uh, short to July, a number of occasions it acted as support. So while we hold above the 2,791 region, I suspect the outlook for the S&P could remain positive. Even if we drift, drift below it, uh, support might come into play at this blue line here, the 50-day moving average at 2,780. As you can see, there's a lot of consolidation in around that level uh, in, in, in late June. And even if we drift lower further, support might come into be found at this yellow line here, the 100-day moving average, which comes into play at 2,726. Once again, notice how in June, we did see a number of occasions the market, uh, the 100-day 100 100-day moving average did manage to act as uh, a support level. Now, if you are trading the S&P 500, it's worth keeping an eye on President Trump's Twitter handle, uh, given that the, the trade standoff between the United States and Washington and, uh, and, and, and Beijing is still ongoing. So any uncertainty around, around trade uh, could, uh, could, ha could hamper the S&P 500. And it's also worth pointing out that we could see increased volatility on Friday when U.S. inflation figures are released. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.